hi everyone in this video i'm going to talk about how we can debug the webpacks bundling process in stackblitz i'm using stackblitz because it provides a, an easy way to debug and to run node.js programs in the browser what we are going to do in this video is to first start with a simple and basic example of a node.js program and we will see how we can debug it once again in the browser and then we'll go to the next level and see how we can debug the webpacks bundling process. So let's get started. Once the project is loaded, let's test that it actually works. And it does. Let's add some code. Now, let's say that we want to place a breakpoint at line 6. Uh, clicking on the line number won't do anything, so what we have to do now is to use the debugger keyword. This will work. But as you see now, it doesn't work uh, just yet. You have to open the DevTools first on the Sources tab. Alright, now uh, we can run the program and see that the breakpoint is hit. And now that we are on this right panel, you can place breakpoints as you would normally do in your uh, in your text editor. And uh, let, let me run it once again. And now you can see that it stops where you want. And we can uh, do all the stuff that we know we can do with the debugger. So this was the simple example. Now let's uh, go ahead and and install webpack and see how we can debug its bundling process. We have to install webpack and the webpack CLI. I'm also installing the CLI because webpack is, uh, is based on the CLI. So the process basically starts with the CLI. And if we, if we hadn't installed the CLI, it would have asked us to install it. So I just wanted to save some time. Okay, now that Webpack is installed, I, I will go ahead and create an, a custom script which will run Webpack for us. And as you probably know, Webpack looks inside the source directory for an index.js file. And because we, in the, for this video, uh, to make things a bit simpler, we are going to avoid dealing with uh, uh, the Webpack config file and all that stuff. So I'm going to create an index.js file in a source directory. I will also create the same function foo. And I will also invoke it. Now let's test that webpack actually works. Uh, not this one. npm run dev. And we can see that it does. So at this point we are running webpack which is based on Node.js in the browser. Now what we want to do is to is to debug it, but first I will have to give you some insights, and uh, I will actually place a breakpoint in a file that I know Webpack will go through. So let me show you uh, right now. But first I want you to take a look on this uh, left panel and see that there are that there is a no node modules folder. But if we write ls in the terminal, we should see it. Now the, the problem comes, how could we open uh, a file from the, Node from the node modules directory in this editor? Well, I've, I think I found a simple trick to do that. To do that. Uh, there might be other ways, but we're, we're going to stick to this. So I'm going to use the code command, and if you're using VS Code, uh, this should be familiar to you. One well, node modules, webpack, lib, and compiler.js. Okay. Um, now, you have to trust me uh, when I say that the process, that the bundling process will start with uh, this function, compiler run. And, and we're going to see it, how, how it happens. So now that uh, we have placed the debugger, uh, I will start the, the debugging process. 
not with this command, with the npm run dev command. And as you can see, it stops where, where we place the debugger keyword. And uh, just to show you that it starts with the CLI, uh, which might not be very important now, but uh, this is uh, this is the basic way with which we can debug Webpack. So we can see that it uses the CLI under the hood. So uh, yeah, you can feel free to explore this part if you want. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. From this point, we can you can explore. You you will find very interesting things in this. Uh, in the in this repo in this package i would say the time uh, spent on it will be worth it um but anyway i just think it is awesome that we've reached that we've reached the point where we can debug and run nodejs in the browser now we can use stack bits for uh, many other things now we can show demos uh much more easily for example, I will be using this great feature that StackBits provides in my future articles. Uh, for example, right now I'm, I'm working about I'm working on a, on an article about how the import function works in Webpack, and I will uh, be definitely be using uh, StackBits for that for the quick demo uh, demos. And yeah, I hope this was, this video was helpful. If you have any comments or suggestions. Uh, please let me know and I will see you in the next one. Bye.